It's a good start for Butler. Some movement away from the bat. Saurav Ganguly looked uh, in uh, some rhythm in the last inning, sort of 50-odd. But uh, idly speaking, he'd like to be yoked to Sehwag in partnership because that will allow him to relax. Not an easy position for uh, Saurav Ganguly. He's under a bit of pressure to hold his place in the team. That's gone in the air and uh, away from the field at point. So India off the mark, scratchy shot. It brought back memories of Sangakara just last night. Played a spoon cover drive. I think it was the bowling of Dwayne Smith and Xavier Marshall took an absolutely great catch. This time it just goes fine enough and high enough to get over Ricardo Powell. He's off the mark with a strike through square. It's again been stung hard by that awkward one from Paul. It has hit it. Oh, that's uh, giving him a solid bruise. It's big. It's fingers crossed it's just a blood vessel that's been ruptured. You can see there's a vein running out of it. But the hematoma is up. Hopefully that is just swelling, not, not a break. Two bones in the forearm, the radius and the ulna. Looks to be in pain, sort of gangly. And optically it doesn't look too good. The moment that ball hit him, he was in pain. Got big on him and uh, missed his arm guard, hit his other arm. Once again, that ball jumping around that good length area and uh, hitting Saurav Ganguly and hitting him rather badly this time. Saurav Ganguly sadly going out in the pavilion and uh, he'll have another look at that swollen area. VVS Laxman comes to the crease. He's got plenty of work to do. He's another one, massive talent in the game, but his average is just 31.5. Very similar to Saywag's. Oh, ball in, but it's a no ball. It's a no ball. I don't know whether Sehwag heard that call because uh, he was in position early to put it away through mid-wicket. I hope he heard the shot, had the call because it was an ordinary shot. He just picked the wrong delivery, played the wrong shot, didn't move correctly for the shot that he chose and deserved to be bowled. But it certainly was a big no ball. That's gone fine, that's a boundary. VVS Luxman very risky and importantly found the gap. Well placed, that particular shot. I imagine he's looking for middle stump, Dighton Butler, but he just gets it on leg, and even middle can be worked behind square by those wrists. Do better off staying outside off to Laxman and full of length, mixing up with a short bouncer every now and then. Decisive stab from Latchman, comfortable catch, and uh, the West Indies get their first wicket. Suddenly, the West Indies are playing with a lot of confidence. Perhaps that's confidence instilled by the captain giving them uh, aggressive field placings. But it's been a tremendous turnaround for the West Indies last night and today, with India 21 for one. New batsman is the Indian captain for the tournament, Raul Dravid. 
over 8,000 uh, One Day International runs. A really good average for One Day Internationals, above 40. He's given him. He takes a long time, this fellow. And Butler has got the wicket. He should have had it early on when CY played across the ball and was bowled. And on this occasion, he gets it leg before. Well, certainly, Savag was uh, back. He doesn't go, he doesn't move his feet a lot. So you're always wondering about whether the ball might be going down leg side. Height is the other uh, query. Certainly in line. You can't really blame an umpire, I guess, for giving that. It's uh, it's not that high. So another setback for India. They're 21 for two. batsman is Yuvraj Singh. India struggling here, 21 for 2 and they've also got a batsman in the pavilion in fact in the hospital with a blow to the forearm Ganguly and Yuvraj Singh has come out now, dropped in the last match and he comes out now to replace Sewag fine shot Fine shot. He's a tall man standing up straight, punching it and finding the gap. Well, India certainly needs some batsmen to uh, take control. And batsmen high in the order, not uh, needing to leave things to the lower part of the order. Ufraj, always a good timer of the ball. What he needs to go on is do is go on and get a big score. Got that away. That'll go for four as well, I feel. Outfield is fast. They won't get it. So two successive boundaries to Yuvraj. He struggled a bit this year, the tall left-hander. But these two shots in opposite directions will make him feel a lot better. away well he really doesn't want to be short here tremendous blow by Dravid well I think it was worth the four runs from Tino Best he knows that Rahul Dravid uh, plays the shot probably worth checking up to see if he's prepared to play it this early in the innings he's now found out that Dravid is and he's playing it well man will not be able to stop that one that's four more it's also no ball it's an interesting way to me in which Dravid is playing today he's looking to be very positive by that I mean anything loose he's looking to capitalize he's had a few drives and misses and he latches on to this one and raced away Yuvraj Singh has found his timing today and he's got this uh, great combination of natural power as well as timing. So when he finds the middle of the bat, the ball invariably crosses the boundary quite comfortably. Well, it's just the third boundary and it's an easy sort of line and length leg stump. should be inside edge which actually may have saved you without saying yeah, this partnership is important for that specific reason Z and Bishop mentioned there is bounce in this pitch and pace as well and Rahul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh can play pace and bounce pretty well with the swing that can create problem for Yuvraj Singh well the short ball from before the effect of a short ball is that maybe on the next 
delivery. The batsman might be a little late in coming forward. Hesitant, just a fraction, and it could have been too late. He's gone. Omari Banks. Wicket of the first ball. David, I think, looking to hit very hard. It was an over pitch delivery. Got the inside edge. And the ball going on to hit the stumps. Three wickets down. How big is this? It's a well flighted delivery. He's got so much confidence. He's not afraid to toss it up to Raul Dravid. And it's just outside the off stump. It's a brave line. It's a tr traditional off spinner's line inside edge onto the pad and onto the stumps. That's a huge wicket. Dravid is the one man capable of seeing through, batting through the innings on this pitch. Some will say unlucky, but credit to Amari Banks. 51 for three. Terrific shot. It's a big drive of Yuvraj Singh. It's looked in good touch so far. It's 60 for 3, 17 overs gone. Wrong line. Allows Kev to get some runs on the onside. Dwayne Smith. Very quick on the ball and a loud scream from the non-striker's end for the throw to go towards that end. I think it was Darren Powell. Obviously had to make sure that the fielder heard him in spite of the drums that are being played here at the Premadasa. Tino Best continues round the wicket to Yuvraj Singh. I think he would have made it, but what a good shot that was. The short delivery stands up tall, Yuvraj Singh. Big catch at this. The man at the sweep has got work to do. He does it. Kaif comes back for two. Seventy three for three. Full this time, and the gap's been found. The man's out there with plenty to do, and he can't do it. Kaif takes a four, and India seventy nine for three. Oh, he's powered that. All the way. Big circular back lift. Crashed for four. Well, that's what you want when you hit the ball hard. If you hit it into the gap, that's where the boundaries come. Once again, Murray Banks tempting the batsman with his flight. Just didn't get the ball to drop it. That's a magnificent blow. That's four. Well, he's not worried with the short ball now. He certainly was earlier, but that's a magnificent blow. Best has given him a test. Now Best realizes that perhaps it's not so, such a good idea anymore. He's played some great shots in this innings. Now, this is an innings he knows that uh, he's got to build up a partnership. He's got to take India out of trouble. And in spite of that, he's played some terrific shots. And the strike rate is 82 when he's looking to just rehabilitate. Inside edge could have gone anywhere. They've gone for one. They'll look for a second. No. Return is on the way. Getting rid of it quickly down there is Dion Ryan. Very impressed with the field placement twice. When you see an edge like this, earlier to third man as well, this is a fine inside edge. You would expect four runs for this. That's got very fine on the leg side. 
He's got those fielders at third man at this end, fine leg at this end, not too square. And as a result, those fours have been saved twice. comes from captaining teams in the West Indies on small grounds. The thing is that when you're fine, it's much easier to get around to, let's say, the, the man at third man. Now, get around to your right. There's plenty of room there to make the save if it goes to your right. If it goes to your left, it's going to be difficult. And uh, when you have those small grounds in the West Indies, that's uh, the way you set your fields to make sure that the balls which are going fine, um, you feel that has the capacity to cut them off and also the ones which are going to his right. Beautifully played, chipped, just a chip, and deliberate, and gets a boundary for it. Expensive over from Best. These two are moving on now, 107 for three. Really well struck. Yuvraj is a big fellow, he's powerful, hits the ball cleanly, and the Indian batsmen now seem to be in control. Just the, the control of the match has switched from the West Indies now to India. I think this is uh, very much uh, like digging out a Yorker. I don't think there is an intention here of hitting a boundary. All he's done is made sure he's got some bat on this Yorker. That's his 50. Very important innings for his team and for him personally, Yuvraj. It's his 18th half century in One Day Internationals, left out of the team in the previous match. It's a very important 50 for Yuvraj Singh. There are a few people talking about his form, his performances of late. In fact, this morning we showed a, a slightly below par performance of Yuvraj Singh in the last 31 Day Internationals. Apart from this being a 50, it's also been a wonderful innings. 50 of 58 balls, 30 overs gone, 115 for three. Shivnarayan Chandapal not leading West Indies. And it's something that the Indians would have noted because his absence would really mean that West Indies batting would struggle a bit. Shivnarayan Chandapal had a big impact on their batting performance, which has been below par in this trip. But he was the main contributor. So India would be aiming at not too big a total. And considering they've lost three wickets, something I'm sure Dravid would be conveying to the men in the middle. Don't aim too big. West Indies batting is without Shivnarayan Chandapal. That's, I think, a major factor in this match. A full bunger, as they say, really full. And uh, Yuvraj not being able to put it away. I suppose that also is a reflection of the total. Certainly the last five overs and 220 on the board or something that would have been hoisted for six Or well, certainly as near to as he could get The owner I'm specializing in full tosses so far I was talking about these two complementing each other perfectly in the left hand right combination one is a better player of spin one is a better boundary hitter they take the pressure off each other also another thing both of them physically are very fit they tend to go long distances in partnerships very rarely you'll see these two getting tired and throwing it away in the hot conditions it's a wide from Deona Ryan with the heat and the weather conditions will not uh, be responsible. 
cut away just short. Well, I say just, probably a couple of yards in front of Morton. He's got great hands, Renaka Morton. I thought he made a good stop. He was on the ground while the ball was coming towards him. So it was all hands there again. So how good those hands were in the test matches with the catching. He's got to chase this one. I think it'll be Fudal. Ends the over with a bad one. Eight runs from that over. 123 for three. Lovely drive from Yuvraj Singh. He's a powerful player. It's Ricardo Paul who does a good job. I think he stopped it with his boot. Once again, a powerful shot from the left-hander. Brilliant footwork there by Ricardo Powell. That's a cracking drive. So Paul who picks up the ball, but once again, excellent running. It's Mohammed Kaf once again showing desperation, showing that he's got. Loads of energy, reserves of energy, diving full length to make sure that uh, he was home. Well, he's an ideal partner for Yuvraj because he can run so fast he gets back for the second. That means that uh, Yuvraj gets more of the strike. I guess probably about now, the West Indies having played in the game yesterday, with this heat and humidity if there is any tiredness creeping in this is about the time particularly when you're under the hammer that's when uh, you start to feel the tiredness and edge will find the boundary will it ricardo paul is very quick he does uh, a fantastic job once again good footwork certainly stopped uh, one run 39 completed, 163 for three. That's played fine, away from the fielder, that'll be a boundary. Paul losing his line, bowling it down the leg side, and Gaff was uh, very good at it, just manoeuvring it away in the gap. 117 run partnership now from 141 balls. Oh, spanking drive. That's put away brilliantly by Yuvraj. It was too hot to handle for the fielder at long off. 10 off the over, India 173 for 3. Mohamed Kef gets his 50. They all rise to appreciate this wonderful innings. Played under pressure, under stress. His 12th one day 50, special one. Well, the crowd has uh, built up steadily here at the stadium. Certainly not a huge crowd, but it's uh, quite a noisy one. It's almost as though, um, well, there's either a lot of Indians here or the Sri Lankans uh, are hoping for an India-Sri Lanka final because there's a lot of cheering when uh, India do something good. That's gone the distance. That's a mighty six. First six of the innings. 
and he hurt himself while uh, putting it away over square leg maybe uh, the leg cramping up as soon as Yuvraj hit the ball he dropped the bat and the cramp uh, kicked in <laughs> but despite the cramp he still wanted to see the result of the shot Result being uh, a six, but it was uh, instantaneous. As soon as the as the foot came round and touched the ground, the cramp kicked in. It was very well hit. This time he picks up a run. Partnership now pushing up towards runner ball, 134 from 152. It's amazing what can happen if you start off steadily, get a good sight of the ball, and then once you've got a sight of the boundary start to come, and it's amazing how that gap closes between runs and balls faced. Gone through square leg for a boundary. It's turning out to be an expensive over. Well, now India really in with a chance of uh, pushing well past that 225 mark. If they can hang around till, say, the 45th over and then start to have a bit of a dash, and you've got Ifan Patan to come behind this pair then they could perhaps push it up to 250 clever piece of batting not for the first time from Ahmed Kaf after hitting a boundary he's maneuvered the ball for a single and that has been the pattern that we've seen from him not really uh, looking after those boundaries Mohammed Kaf just four fours in his 56 that strike rate has improved now, 67.47. His partner is going at almost strike rate of 100. Partly stopped by Paul, allows the batsman to come back for a run. He's on 96, Yuvraj. He's already made two centuries, Yuvraj Singh, big opportunity to get a third one and play a big part in getting his side through to the final of this India Oil Cup. He's found the gap. Brilliant shot. That ball will race away to the boundary. Full toss dealt with severely by Mohammed Kaf. Very good over for India. 195 for three. Another full toss. Well, perhaps that's the best delivery to bowl to him. He's only got one run off two full tosses. This is the 43rd over. The th 43rd over. Best has another five overs available. Dighton Butler has another two available. Now, Darren Paul, I wouldn't think the bowl, given how Joseph has uh, handled his uh, bowlers who have given away runs in an over single well stopped end of the over 200 up seven overs to go 200 for three His third hundred in one day internationals for the 24 year old left hander. And a very, very crucial innings in what is effectively a semi final in this Indian Oil Cup tournament. 51 for three with uh, Ganguly injured as well. Effectively 51 for four when this partnership started. 
raise his 150 partnership. reckons I think it's hit outside off stump led by signal get a good idea of where he has scored his runs and relatively all around the park good all-around stroke play 51 for three when he came and he's at the crease in this partnership with Mohammed Kaif Fielder at long off has it in control, but there'll be time for a second. Not yet. I just uh, wonder here if you, Raj, still is slightly affected by that cramp which he seemed to be, have when he hit that six off pole. Normally they'll be looking for a second. But he just strolled the first. Just four off the over, 204 for three. <laughs> Hammered away, that's four. Well, not affected by cramp or anything else for that delivery. Still clutching the back of his leg. It's a powerful shot, and he'll be hoping not to run for anything. There you go again. So the problem comes if he hits it into the outfield and he has to run. He's not going to be able to hit every ball to the boundary. It's a good shot. Nearly hampered. Tramped again. Another four bad bowling here by. The owner ran too short. Joseph doesn't seem to have confidence in his quicker bowlers. He's going with the occasional off spin of the owner Ryan. He's dropped it short twice, and twice he's been clamored down towards mid wicket. Oh, oh bad miss stumping. Oh, he was a way down. Maybe Ramdin thought the ball had bowled him. Just didn't worry to even take it. I don't think you Raj was worrying too much about getting back initially either. Gone again. But this time he's dived to his right, made the save. So you've Raj just swiping here now. He's got two big fours and he's struggling. What does he do here? I think they're asking the umpire about a runner. Seawag is already padded and ready to do that job. And he's gone now. Reverse sweep to best. Well, it was on the cards, but he's uh, played a magnificent innings, Yuvraj. Wounded hero goes off for India. Tremendous innings and a shake hand from uh, the West Indies players as he goes off. They appreciate a fine innings. It's an innings which has tilted the balance away from them completely, but they can still appreciate it. I think just here, he's just decided, look, I, I better get out of here. Just do anything. He was hampered by the cramp. It's been a brilliant innings. Take nothing away from Yuvraj Singh. This partnership started at 51 for three, and he deserves all the accolades that will come his way. Gone for 110, it's 216 for four. New batsman is Dhoni, keeper, he can hit the ball hard as well. They go for a quick single, return to the bowler's end, just misses the stumps. And they'll come back for a second, no, he's gone too far past the stumps at the far end. Momentum carrying him past the stumps, so he couldn't... Uh, Put the brakes on quickly now. 217 for four. Four overs remain.
coming back for the second. Pressure on the fielder. They'll be scurrying here, the Indians. This is where the West Indies fielders now will be put under pressure. Down comes Dhoni. Midwicket has it. But he can't make the return fast enough to effect the run out. Let's have a look at that glistening Maruti Suzuki Swift, which will go to the man of the series. Just one more match to go after this one, the big one, the final on Tuesday here at the Premadasa Stadium. Crowd chanting for Dhoni. Keeper, big strong man. There he goes. He's a big hitter, this fellow. Gone, gone, gone. He's going to capitalize on now seeing Dean Ryan towards the end of the innings. Dean Ryan isn't getting the length right. Should be looking to fire this up into the block hole. Give it some air and on a length. And the ball gets some air time. Just gets a single in the offside now. No question what Dhoni has come to do and uh, no question what you expect him to do. He's come out there to slog. This is the 48th over. It's 231 for four. India looking for over 250. Kaif now down towards midwicket. Two fielders come across. They can't get there. They're getting a lot to cheer for the Indian fans. Great satisfaction. Yet another boundary of the inner right towards the end of the innings here. He's proving very, very expensive. Already hit for six in the over. Could be another four here, which will make 17 off the over. Touch and go. Saves a run. Still 16 off the over. And just two more to go, 238 for four, India on course for 250. In the air, safe. Just a chip and they get two as well. Tino Best is doing his uh, best, I suppose, to get the ball right up into the block hole. Short, fine leg in place, so he doesn't want to drift too much onto leg stump. Down the ground again, but Cape is safe. Just a single. He's at the moment controlling the direction in which the players can hit the ball by trying to bowl as full as possible. Doesn't possess quite a very good slower delivery. Doesn't bowl a slower delivery that often, Tino Best. Crowds chanting Dhoni's name. They would have watched on television or perhaps even live when he had that big hundred against Pakistan in that one day series in India. delicate little flick down to fine leg for four they're loving it here well he can do nothing about that this is just great creativity and bravery as well because it was a delivery at 140 k's and he's uh, played it as though it was a spinner this is tremendous from Doni really tremendous disbelief wouldn't have seen that much in his uh, short career Tino Best at any level Boney, Boney 17 already he's perfected the shot it's 
well stopped by Ricardo Powell. He's bowling, well, I think the last two deliveries were just around the off stump. And uh, not a bad line. One has gone for four and one has barely been stopped. Yapping going out there. Come for the single. Real pressure on the West Indies here. It doesn't matter now as far as India is concerned. If they lose a wicket swiping, it doesn't matter. They've got already the highest total in the tournament. West Indies batting has already struggled throughout this tour. And they don't have Chanda Paul tonight. Stranger things have happened. However, England have beaten Australia in a test match today. Last ball of over number 49. Just the single. So, Kaif will have the strike for the last over 249, 247 for four. Down the ground, Joseph showing, uh, well, I suppose you might say, confidence in Diona Ryan. Might be misplaced. He was hit for 17, correction, 16 in his previous over. Here's that little uh, confrontation between the two of them. I just picked up the end of it. Long on, and they'll be back for two. Raises at 250 already, now for India. Kaif and Yuvraj have to take the credit for that. Yuvraj no less than, uh, correction, Kaif no, Kaif no less than Yuvraj with the support he's given. In the air. Long off comes in, ball drops safe again for Cave. Well, it's, it's a tired shot, it's a weary shot. He's on his knees, he's on his haunches at the non strikers end. It's taken a lot out of him this innings. He's been sapped of energy, can't get the timing and power in his shots that he would want to towards the end of the innings. Look at his clothing, it's totally soaked. Not the same thing about Dhoni. He's only been there for 10 deliveries. He isn't tired. He's just anxious to get the bat onto the ball. Ah, and they'll come for the second. Real pressure on the West Indies fielders here. And the ball has become like a bar of soap. And the thing about it is that you want to keep Dhoni off strike because he's stronger. He's not as tired as Mohamed Kaif. He will hit the ball further. It should have been limited to one. Monaco Morton was the fielder. Let's see what happens now. Oh. Four. Not quite. Best on to it. And in fact, they only got two because Kaif is really not able to run a third. Nine off the over so far. Last ball, and India will feel that they have sufficient already. Against the West Indies batting team with his out Chanda Paul, their captain, down with a viral infection today. Last ball. Where will it go? Gone! Gone! Over the top. Dhoni finishes for the six. 262 for four. 15 off the over. Dhoni, 28 from 13 deliveries. Just what India would have wanted from him. It's a big, big target for the West Indies. This is a virtual semi-final. 
89 runs off the last 10. Would have been 83 but for this shot. Just clearing the mid-wicket fielder. And it really is just the cream and the cake after 165 run partnership between Kaif and Uvraj. He's a strong man and he gets under it. 40 of the last three overs from Dianarain and India have given it a great, great effort here with the bat in this all-important match in this Indian oil. Come back for the second and hurry. Good, urgent stuff from the West Indies here, as it has to be. It's a big target. They haven't been hit on the pads at all, other than that first one, which is only in the inside flap of the pad. It's been bat on ball. Head down over that front knee, very good. And then head up to pick a quick single up for Marshall and a quick two for Morton. Down the ground, got a lot of bat on to it. <clears throat> Outfield is fast and it looks as if it's going to go all the way it does. Good positive uh, stroke from Marshall. Best thing about this is it went straight down the ground. He's been hitting through covers or attempting to hit through covers because his front foot is going across the across the crease. This time it plants down the pitch. Hits through the line of the ball. And nowhere near the pad. Fine shot. Good, positive use of the feet to an opening bowler with the white ball. Advancing. Little shimmy step. Bang, he saw it was going to be the half volley. Zaheer Khan is going to have to be careful not to float it up. He's out of his crease as well as advancing. He's two metres out of his crease by the time he plays that magnificent on drive. Had a lot of staring and glaring and chatting this evening when Tino Best was on for the West Indies. Wonder why he didn't advance at that one. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Same ball, it's right up there. The shot was on to play, and yet he's stuck in his crease. Now there must be a little decision made. Okay, if he floats it up, I'm going to go, and he didn't make it that time. He's got it through. And they'll come for two, and they're running real hard here. But uh, two is all they'll get. Got it through. Timed it well. And uh, will go all the way. So another boundary, and well timed. The best thing about this West Indian team is I don't think they care tonight about batting under the lights. I think they've forgotten that it's under lights. They have got the target in mind. And that's the one thing that they've thrived under this weekend. It's all or nothing. They don't fear losing. And there could be a run out. Well, should have been if he hit the stumps. Heaven knows where Morton was going to. It's been a frenetic, frenetic opening from him. I think he was trying to get out of the way of the umpire's line. Reiner is the fielder on as a replacement, and he's been excellent at taking those half chances in this tournament. He just wanted to get out of the way of the umpire, get away from the stumps, then he slips. And Ryder misses. Back overhead, doesn't really struck it with all the force that he wanted to, but it will still go all the way. This is a very positive start from the two West Indian openers. 
Renaka Morton not accustomed to, the, to this position, usually at number three, sometimes lower than that. And finally, he finds the middle of that bat. He's got it through, and enough onto it that it will go all the way, I think. Let's have a check with the third umpire. I'm sure that Tyrone Widger-Wadner will ask whether that ball was stopped cleanly. Well, is the body on the ropes when it's in contact with the ball? The ball didn't hit. He's got rid of it, I think. So good to see Brenda Sawag putting in. Another look at it. All for one run. So it is stairs three. Four and a half overs for 28. There's been plenty of shots been exciting the Indian bowlers have come out nice and relaxed and loose and they've disappeared for a boundary or two stick with the plans over the top well he's giving him the charge and he's going to get a boundary for it well there's an expression fortune favoring the brave I'm not so sure if it applies in this case Mahendra Dhoni played some adventurous shots at the end of Tino Best. Hamish Marshall, Xavier Marshall just couldn't pull out of that at all. It was a great delivery right at the middle of his chest. Looking to advance and Patan double bluffs him with a short one. Great save. Great save by Keith. Would only have been a single. But even so, little things can turn. You never know what that does. If India pick up a wicket right now, they go straight to Cape and say, thanks for getting us to going. And over the top, deliberate shot. Going to pull up just inside the boundary. And they'll come back for a third. Once again, Zahir Khan floating it up there. He was looking for more of a leading edge than he got. It was a slower ball. Left hand orthodox, off spin, and Morton got enough on it. go down to the bowler's end they'll have to hurry they do so that comes for two whites <laughs> yeah firing up the west indians it was only a small fumble by the keeper morton was right onto it and then marshall fast enough to make it down the other end don't chose the right end to throw it to marshall is so quick Pathan has got him. Marshall goes leg before for 19. First time since the first delivery he's been wrapped in the bat. First time he was taken deliberately, not this time. Great delivery by Pathan. Him over the top, just swung in enough. And out of the hand beautifully. Landed on middle, middle and leg. Going on to hit. The same, the same was great. Marshall overcommitted for the first time tonight. He overcommitted with that front foot across the crease, got himself into trouble, and old Hammond creeps back in. Xavier Marshall can creep back into the pavilion. 37 for one.